Aloha, my name is Billy F. Schultz. I'm a student with the Institute of Clinical Acupuncture and Oriental Medicine. This is my presentation for Materia Medica 2, Ching Hao, firefighter. Uh, Ching Hao doesn't really fight uh, fires, not even in the uh, traditional Chinese medical sense. It does clear heat, but firefighters sound a little more dramatic. The objective is to demonstrate an understanding of Ching Hao from a basic botanical perspective and its uses primarily in traditional Chinese medicine to include current research and clinical applications of the herb. Here's my references, with my main reference being Materia Medica, Clinical Reference and Study Guide. And here's my overview, uh, introduction, uh, botanical features of a uh, of, uh, Artemisia annua, which is uh, the word Ching Hao derives it from, uh, the plant it derives it from. Uh, traditional Chinese medicine, we'll go over the channel tropism uh, category of the herb Ching Hao and the qualities of the herb. Uh, functions and indications, it clears empty heat, clears summer heat, cools the blood to stop bleeding. Modern clinical usage which is treat cancer, and I have a personal story uh, with that. Uh, preparations and precautions, other uses and conclusion. Ching Hao, pronounced Ching Hao, is a traditional Chinese medicinal herb. Ching Hao, also known as sweet or celery wormwood, Latin Herba Artemisia annua su apsea, and there's the Chinese simplified form, is a common type of wormwood native to temperate Asia and naturalized in many countries, including scattered parts of North America. And here is a uh, sketch of Artemisia annua or alopecia. And there is the uh, white showy flowers, and you can see the tap root, or not the tap root, the fibrous root. General plant information so it's a herb or form, so it's not a grass, a sage, or a rush. Uh, annual life cycle uh, full sun to partial shade uh, to grow. Water preferences, mesic, dry mesic, and dry, and it has resistance allergy, tolerates poor soil. Uh, zone preferences, um, zone 7A, uh, 17.8 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius. Uh, plant height, 4 to 6 feet. The leaves are fragrant. The flowers, as I mentioned, were white and showy. The flowering time is late summer and early fall or early fall. Wildlife attracting birds, bees, and butterflies, pollinators, various insects, but we'll go on later on how Artemisia is actually used as an insect repellent. Uh, underground structures, fibrous roots, and resistance to, and it tolerates, like I said, tolerates poor soil. Uh, traditional Chinese medicine, channel tropism, category and qualities, and it it goes to the kidney channel, the liver channel, and the gallbladder channel. Um, if it's under the it's under the category of clear empty heat, and uh, the various sources have different things: clear empty heat, clear summer heat. But uh, according to Peter Holmes and Materia Medica, it's clear empty heat. Uh, it's bitter, somewhat pungent, and cold. Um, one of the one of the functions and indications, of course, is a clear, empty heat, and it clears late stage fever with nutritive level heat, and uh, also known as a remittent fever. Uh, remittent fever is when your temperature fluctuates greater than uh, 0.3 Celsius without going back to normal. So you see in that uh, chart there that um, not only is the uh, temperature of the fever um, going uh, fluctuating, but you see it steadily increasing. Um, like I said, it treats uh, remittent fever, uh, dynamic, or also known as dynamic or nocturnal fever. Uh, this type of fever comes with morning coolness and uh, no sweating. And used with Bai Jia, Yin Shai Hu, and Bai Wei um, to treat, uh, to treat, um, well, to treat clear empty heat. Okay, uh, we're still continuing with clear empty heat. Uh, yin deficiency with heat. Um, and this is a uh, word is hectic fever. And these are wide swings of temperature each day. 
usually greater than one degree Celsius. And so here we see again the wide um, the, the wide variation in the temperature in the temperature fluctuations. And uh, like I said, that's a hectic fever. Um, these kind of fevers come with night sweats and uh, five centers heat, which is traditional Chinese medicine uh, pathology, as well as steaming bone, which is another traditional Chinese medicine pathology. This means that um, the uh, if you would imagine your bones as being a pan, and all the water from the pan has since boiled away from the, the pan, and now it's just sitting on the heater. Um, and that kind of affects like uh, pain in the bones, pain in the joints, uh, things like that. So it was in Baijia, Zimu, and Xinjiang, and that's how they treat yin deficiency with heat. Um, we're still continuing on with uh, functions and indications for clear, empty heat and Xiaoyang, Xiaoyang stage heat. And this is a, the indicator on that is intermittent fever. And the temperature returns to normal between exacerbations. So you'll see here on the uh, chart that the temperature increases and then decreases, then men increases uh, slightly, then decreases. Um, so definitely a. Uh, uh, but when it decreases, it decreases back to uh, normal, normal body temperature. And um, this is called intermittent or malarial fever and. Um, uh, Ching Hao is 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 mainly is known around the world for treating malaria, and this uh, type of fever is alternating fever and chills. And we'll see the uh, young lady there. Uh, she's I think both uh, trying to keep warm there with the blanket and also keeping cool there with her cup of water or whatever's uh, cooling her off. It's used with Wang Qian. Um, we're going on to clear summer heat, so we just uh, clear it empty heat. Um, one of the things is damp summer heat, and that's with sustain. And variations of temperature, um, less than 0 0.3 Celsius per day. And this is kind of just a sustained uh, uh, sustained type fever. And you'll see the graph there where it's, it's varying uh, slightly, but it's kind of maintaining um, maintaining. Uh, a temperature, just small variations. And uh, this one treats, uh, because damper of summer heat uh, manifests itself in a lot of pathologies, um, we can go over those, and they are fever, sweating, nausea, epigastric fullness, and stangery. And of course, um, used, uh, Ching Hao, when it's used with different herbs, like, like any, any, uh, 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 herb medicine can have, have different effects, and in this case, when it's used with Lu Dao, Huang Shi, or Qi Yi, it would treat uh, the fever, nausea, uh, epigastric fullness, and strand Um In children, uh, when mixed with Bai Wei, Hu Zhang, um, it treats fever in children, and then it actually can treat a uh, coma and even convulsions in children um, with uh, when it's mixed with Qian Zhu Huang. And Danang Xiang. Um, okay, and then one of the other functions indications is uh, cools the blood to stop bleeding and blood heat with hemorrhage. And some examples of that is epistaxis, which is bleeding from the nose, and that's treated using uh, both uh, Qing Hao and Qi Xiao Yin. And it also treats uh, purpura. A rash of purple spots on the skin caused by internal bleeding from small blood vessels, and that's when it's used with a uh, Ma and Zi Chao, Zi Xiao. Um, and these again are, are, are what the point of this uh, Qing Hao does. It, it just cools the blood and stops bleeding. So in this case, it stops nose bleeding and also uh, stops the bleeding that uh, shows up as a rash on the skin. Um, and then the modern clinical usage is to treat cancer. Um, I have a personal story on that, and let's begin. Uh, this here is myself, and this is my dear friend Candace. Uh, this is us in Mosul, Iraq, over a decade ago. And this was during the Iraq War. 
and uh, we had been friends in Hawaii before. But um, every time I passed through Mosul to conduct missions, uh, she was there, um, whether just to have uh, lunch in the DFAC with me, dinner in the DFAC with me, or even uh, pick up stuff at the PX for me. And um, so she provided a lot of support to me. And then upon return to Hawaii, she became close friends with my wife and, and almost all my ohana here on the island. And she just kind of fit right in, and that's because she's got a great personality. Um, and she's a great person all the way around. And then she also helped me with my son um, later on. Uh, unfortunately, she diagnosed with breast cancer some years ago. And um, she was seeing a, a medical doctor in Virginia and uh, seeking um, all the things they do to treat cancer, uh, chemotherapy. But my wife and I uh, wanted to provide some assistance using uh, traditional Chinese medicine, Eastern medicine. Uh, so I uh, found a traditional Chinese medical doctor in Korea because both, uh, both my wife and I um, were living in Korea. I was stationed there. And uh, so I sought one and he told me uh, that Ching Hao actually is used to treat cancer. So we thought we would uh, send that to her and, and give her the option uh, to treat her cancer in addition to uh, chemotherapy and other uh, cancer treatments she was receiving. So this is a, a street. This is actually a market here in in uh, Seoul. And it's uh, maybe three miles long and it's full of all the herbal remedies, all the traditional Chinese uh, herbal remedies. And so uh, you see that black and white picture there that is actually the um, owner of that herbal shop there. And I talked to the traditional Chinese medical doctor there and he um, uh, told me this stuff there which is she's holding in her hand is actually Artemisia annua or uh, sweet celery um, and it, she's grinding it up for uh, use because it would become Ching Hao. Um, there's a picture of my wife there also uh, in that herbal shop and you see there's a a huge amount of herbs there and, and you can just imagine that was one store in like three miles of them. And so um, my wife and I go to uh, Yang Yongsi Herb Market in Korea and we get her Ching Hao. And uh, keep in mind, I wasn't even studying traditional Chinese medicine at the time. Um, it just, uh, but I know that traditional Chinese medicine, and uh, in, in this case it was Korea, so Eastern medicine uh, had some success with treating cancer, at least there was some evidence according to some documentation, and uh, was used in um, places like Korea and Japan and, and uh, China, of course, in the Far East to treat cancer. So we sent that to her, and I believe she took it. Um, those remedies, uh, that remedy, as well as her chemotherapy, and I'm sure a uh, support from her family and friends, and, and uh, has her uh, cancers in remission, and that's a picture of us just taking uh, maybe about uh, maybe six months ago, and we're there uh, here in Hawaii. Um, so her commit cancer's remission as of today uh, it was very um, uh, heartwarming and uh, wonderful and amazing story. And so it actually uh, was one of the motivators that uh, caused me to go into traditional Chinese medicine. Uh, traditional preparations and precautions. Okay, so this is a living Artemisia annua. And remember, alopecia can also be used uh, to make Ching Hao. And there it is there. And then uh, they try the Artemisia annua, and of course they, you know, they cut it. And then this is when it becomes Ching Hao, dried and uh, cut into other things. And it's so funny when they use, when other, um, Artemisia is uh, also prepared. It all kind of looks the same. And then his Ching Hao Costa Granule, and this is just what you can get. Um, you can order this, uh, but this is prepared uh, prepared and sold over the counter. So uh, here's its uh, preparation. Because of its essential oil content, um, add only 5 to 10 minutes before uh, decocting. Um, um, time and cover. So uh, because it's a 
um, because the the uh, leaves are fragrant um, uh, you want to go ahead and you don't want to uh, uh, put that into uh, the, the decoction until like you know until the last five to ten minutes and then cover it um, 16 to 15 milligrams and up to 30 30 milligrams in severe cases of a uh, uh, in severe cases at least I know with um, clearing up the heat summer heat and uh, uh, treating the blood this uh, treating um, cooling the blood and then here's uh, its precautions because of its bitter cold quality it's contracted in the middle of warm uh, jowl um, so uh, if you have someone that has a middle warming jowl it's probably not something you want to prescribe to them and in other uses so um, not so much artemisia annua or alopecia but the artemisia family of plants are used in uh, decorations so they're very ornamental plants and they're used for that uh, French cooking so tarragon is actually part of the artemisia family uh, Middle Eastern mint tea, so it's actually mixed with uh, mint tea in the Middle East. Uh, it's used as insect repellent, so actually the plants uh, repel things like midges and uh, flies and things like that. And uh, beer and wine, but um, used as a um, more of like a hangover cure, kind of a hair of a dog, hair of the dog. And um, absinthe liquor. Now absinthe liquor is, of course, you know. You know, very famous uh, liquor, especially during the Renaissance. You know, Van Gogh used to drink a lot of absinthe liquor, and, um, and so it's very addictive and has some kind of um, mania associated with it. Um, so here's a picture of that there. Um, but Qinghao is actually doesn't uh, doesn't fall into any one of these categories. Like I said, the Artemisia family plants. There's a lot of Artemisia family plants. Okay, here's my conclusion. Uh, demonstrate an understanding of Ching Hao from a basic botanical perspective and its uses, primarily in traditional Chinese medicine, to include current research and clinical applications of the herb. Uh, mahalo and thank you.